Hello, welcome to this video. This is an uh, intervention for integration video. I'm going to go over a couple of examples. Um, I'm going to have three practice problems um, along with, with three examples kind of prior to them. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead. Here is the, the first example. So if you could write this one down. And um, this, the integrals that are, are present are mainly going to focus on U substitution. So um, if we look here at this problem and you kind of inspect the, the, power, the power function here, 4x minus 1, you'll note that you, you don't have, um, like, if the hook, if I was to look at the hook, the hook would be 4. And notice it doesn't account for the x. So in this case, what we have to do is we have to utilize u substitution. So we're going to go ahead and, and identify that. Okay, what is u going to be? And generally, it's whatever that the interior of that power function is. So 4x minus 1. And then you have to go ahead and do two other things. I have u. I also need x. So we solve for x. u plus 1 is equal to 4x, which makes x equal to 1 fourth u plus 1 fourth. Okay, and that's that's x. So there's the second thing you need. The third thing that you also need is you need to know what is dx. So you differentiate each side. So this side is just dx. And on this side, um, the derivative of 1 fourth u is just 1 fourth times the derivative of u, so du. So I have all those three things. Now comes the, the substitution. It's where I just kind of replace everything. So I'm going to set this equal to the integral of... Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and replace x. So x is 1 fourth u plus 1 fourth. So I'll write that here. So that is 1 fourth u plus 1 fourth. And notice I'll, I'll drop that in, into parentheses. Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to replace my, my power expression, which is the 4x minus 1. So I'll just replace that with u. So we have u to the power of 4. And then lastly, I have to replace the dx, right? The dx is 1 fourth du. And so times 1 fourth du. All right, so now what we have to do, we just go ahead and distribute um, everything in. So notice with the, the constant, I'll pull that out front. So I have the integral of 1 fourth, and I'll go ahead and, and multiply in the, the u to a power of 4, right? So um, I have 1 fourth u, okay, u to the power of 1 plus u to the power of, of 4 gives us u to the fifth plus 1 fourth u to the fourth du. If you want, you can factor out the, the 1 fourth also. So out front you have like 1 16th, um, but we don't have to do that. So I'll set this equal to, and now we're going to go ahead and integrate. So 1 fourth times okay, u to the, the fifth. I'm going to add 1 to that, so that would be uh, u to the sixth. So 1 fourth u to the sixth divided by 6 um, plus 1 fourth u to the fourth. I'm going to add 1, so it would be u to the fifth divided by 5. Okay. And da, 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 I have to have plus c, plus c. So since it's indefinite, right, no bounds. So we'll go ahead and just kind of clean this up. So I have 1 fourth times u to the power of 6 over 24 plus u to the fifth over 20 plus c. And we can go ahead and multiply in the 4, or we can just leave it as is. But what we have to do at this point is just go ahead and replace um, our, our u. So I have to put back x, right? I want to put this back in terms of x. So u is 4x minus 1. So this is 1 fourth times um, 4x minus 1 
to the power of 6 over 24 plus 4x minus 1 to the power of 5 over 20 plus c. And there's your answer. All right. So um, there is the first example. What I'm going to post now is a practice problem. Please write down this example and um, pause the video, try it on your own, and then I will post the solution. All right, so there is the, the solution to the first practice problem. Um, please pause the video here, check your work. Okay, um, example two, please write this one down in your notes. And um, again, looking at, at this problem, uh, specifically when, when you have like radicals or roots, it's kind of a hint that you're going to be utilizing u substitution, but it's always a good idea just to, to check. So I'll write over here in red, okay, what is my hook? Like is, is my hook taken care of? Hint, hint, it's not, right? This, this um, reviews on u substitution, but our, our hook would be 15 x to the power of 4. So notice I have x squared. I'm still missing... Uh, x another x squared but i can't just introduce that so we're not going to go with the reverse chain rule we're going to utilize u substitution so thus u is equal to and again it's always whatever your radicand is or kind of the interior of your power expression so 3x to the fifth minus 3 and then we need to go ahead and again solve for x I don't like this problem here's what we're gonna do we're gonna amend it look at that okay so write this one down I just I just took away the I took away the the power sorry I changed I changed this problem um, to make it more complicated but yeah okay so let's go ahead and now solve for x. Um, so thus, u plus 3 is equal to 3x. Thus, 1 third u um, plus 1 is equal to x. And dx will be equal to... One third do. Uh, I want to get rid of. I want to get rid of this too. The square. So, utilize your erasers. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and substitute in um, our values. So thus we have the integral of u to the power of 3 fifths times 3 times x, okay, and x is equal to 1 third u plus 1 um, dx, which is 1 third du. So notice here, right, the 3 and the 1 third, those are going to cancel, okay? And I have the integral of, I'm going to distribute the u to the power of 3 fifths inwards. So I have 1 third u, and notice we're adding 1. So I'm going to add a, a power of 1 to this u, which makes it 5 over 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. So it's u to the 8 fifths power plus u to the 3 fifths power du. Okay, so we're ready to, to integrate. So I have um, 1 third u, I'm going to add 1 to that power, so 8 fifths, again I'm adding 1 which is 5 fifths, so 5 plus 8 is, very good, 
plus, uh, oh, divided by, divided by 13 fifths plus u, again, we'll add one. So three fifths plus five, that'd be eight fifths over eight fifths plus c. Okay, so we'll go ahead and clean this up. So I have 5 thirteenths multiplied times 1 third times u to the power of 13 fifths plus 5 eighths times u to the power of 8 fifths plus c, which ends up giving us um, 5 39ths, and that's ugly, times u, which is 3x minus 3, to the power of 13 fifths, plus 5 eighths, times 3x minus 3, to the power of 8 fifths, plus c. So no different, um, essentially, after after we edit. Uh, wouldn't you guys like to have that, like an eraser on an exam? You're like, ah, I don't like you, bye. I don't like you, bye. <laughs> yeah, bring your white out. I saw that on a, on like a, a t like a teacher Instagram page. It's, and then the teacher wrote like, no, Sally, you can't white out any problem that you don't want to <laughs> answer. That's a real thing. Okay. Um, I'm going to post the uh, next practice problem. Uh, actually, I'm going to adjust this. We're going to go to example three. Here's a third example. Um, I wanted to do a definite integral to, to give you this practice. And on the exam, um, you guys had a, a problem similar to this. So if you're previewing this before your unit five exam, uh, you're getting a leg up. So hint, hint, right? This is for my students next year. Um, so... Yeah, must be must be nice. So zero to three. Okay, if I have a, a value in the denominator, how do we move it to the numerator? Change the sign from positive to negative. Good job. I'm proud of you. So uh, it's to the power of one half, and when I move it to the numerator, it is negative. Dx. Oh, there we go. <laughs> is it glitching bad? The students in my room. Sorry, the district got rid of the district got rid of my my screen mirroring app. So I have to I have to use this capability. Okay, so this is u substitution. Um, again, if I if I take the hook right, the hook in the in the power expression doesn't cover the x out front. So we have to utilize u substitution. U is equal to x plus one, and then we'll solve for x. So u minus one's x thus dx is equal to du. So this, this one's uh, actually kind of simple. Once you get past the, um, the, the power being a negative one half. Okay, so we'll go ahead and substitute. Okay, so two times x, and again, x is u minus one times u to the power of negative one half du. Okay, and I'm a fan of, of making this sim simple as possible. So I'm going to pull the two out front and then I'll, I will um, go ahead and, and distribute in the u to the power of, of negative one half. Okay, so I'll, I'll distribute that in. So u to the power of, of one when I add that to you to the negative one half, I'll do it. My kids are yelling at me here. I have to change the bounds. I'll get to it. Okay, so uh, u um, to the power of one multiplied with u to negative one half gives us u to the power of positive one half minus u to the power of negative one half du. Okay, so here's what my, my students were, were yelling at me about. Um, thank you, guys. Thank you. Is that uh, currently x equals 0 and x equals 3. The bounds are in terms of x. We want them to be in terms of u. 
So if x is 0, then u is 1. If x is 3, which again, I'm using this right here. I'm just dropping it in, right? If x is 3, then u is 4. So I have to adjust these bounds. So erase, erase, erase. It's not erasing. 1 to 4. Good. You know, you don't have to change the bounds. You just have to know that they're in terms of x. You could substitute x back in and do that, but it, right? I think this is actually, this is better. Um, but, okay. So, we'll go ahead. We'll integrate. So, thus, we have 2 times u to the power of 1 half. I'll add that by 1. So, that's u to the power of 3 halves divided by 3 halves minus u to the power of positive one half divided by one half. Okay, evaluated from four to one. No C, no C, I know C, a C. Um, so I have two times, two times, okay, and be, be careful here. I'm going to drop in uh, the two thirds times four to the power of three halves minus um, two times the square root of four. I know I'm messing with you guys. Let's do times four to the power of one half. I'll be consistent. Okay. Minus in parentheses. Okay, now I'm just going to put one in terms of everything. So two thirds um, times one to the power of three halves. I know that's one. Hey, my Estes, how's it going? Ah, there's Ella. Where did I go? No. 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 Here. Okay. You guys, I'm so exposed. You guys saw everything. Okay, times two times one to the power of one half. There's your answer. Just leave it like that. You get the point. Don't lose the point. Catch you next time. Peace.